Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ruthie. And today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be meal prepping some freezer meals um, for baby. So I am actually only 33 weeks pregnant. Um, I am getting induced at 37 weeks due to my gestational hypertension and um, we've been monitoring my preeclampsia, so I'm getting induced at 37 weeks. So with that being said, we're getting started on meal prepping some food. I'm really out of breath, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, but today, this is probably gonna be like a couple clips from different days, um, but today I'm going to be doing some chili and some meatballs. So um, I have, three pounds of ground beef right here that I have to cook up um, and use. So for chili, I'm actually going to be making um, just like a traditional chili on the stovetop and then my mom's like Italian meatballs. So the chili, we're actually gonna have some for dinner tonight. So I'm going to be doubling my chili recipe and then using some for tonight, freezing half of it. That's what I meant to say. I will have a video coming soon that I plan on filming and it's going to be probably like 10 to 15 um, crock pot freezer meals. And that will be just more so just throwing everything into the crock pot or sorry, into a baggie so that way I can freeze it and then throw it into a crock pot. Um, but this video is gonna be just some meals. So I know, let me grab my list. So we're gonna be making meatballs today, we're gonna to be making chili today. And then the rest of this video, we're gonna, um, I plan on making lasagna. And the lasagna, I plan on making like pretty much like a full lasagna. And then just getting smaller pans to make smaller like dishes because I don't wanna make like a huge lasagna. For me and my family, we're not huge into leftovers. We don't really like eating the same thing for days. So I figured if I make smaller portions of lasagna, it'd be better. And then that way, with one lasagna recipe, I can probably get two to three little dishes. So, lasagna, meals. Um, I would really like to make a load of potato soup. Um, and I'm probably gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna pre-cook that one too, have some now, freeze half, because load of potato soup usually makes a lot, and I don't wanna be stuck with too much. So, I'm gonna do that. And then, taco casserole. I heard it's like a really popular dish that people freeze freezer meals we're gonna try that one and for today this clip this portion of today's video and how you see me will be meatballs and chili and then this video will be pretty long so stay tuned before i get started with throwing the meat on i'm actually going to take chop up two white onions i'm going to dice them pretty small um and then pretty much one onion is going to go inside the pot with the ground beef and a little bit of olive oil and then the other onion I'm gonna to put to the side for our meatballs. the olive oil and the onions cooking and they're browned a little bit so now we're actually going to take a pound and a half of this ground beef and pick it up perfect and then i'm using a glove because i do not like touching meat i don't know being pregnant it's even it's like even worse for me right now so but yeah so we're gonna chop up or cook up sorry a pound and a half of the ground beef, uh, and then it is with chili. Chili is so easy. I know not everyone likes chili, so I guess that's something. If you don't like chili, then you may not like, you may not want to freeze it. But my family loves chili. We have chili. Um, we try to switch it up. So we'll either have it with like rice. We'll have chili with like chips and tostitos. My kids love it like that. I am gonna actually go ahead and drain my kidney beans um, and rinse them off. Um, two cans of uh, diced tomatoes with chilies. 
basically like Rotel. This is just the Great Value brand. Um, I tried really hard to make this meals um, really affordable. So I'm using pretty much all generic um, store brands. So um, we're gonna take two cans. These are both 10 ounces. So um, I like my chili with a little bit of a kick. These are just the original, so they're not too spicy. I got mix in there, and then I have just two cans of just regular tomato sauce. Again, this is just the Great Value brand. Um, but you want just any kind of tomato sauce you can do, like homemade sauce or whatever. Um, but these are just two cans of tomato sauce. And these are 15 ounces each. I'm gonna throw all of this into the crock pot. That's why I love chili. I said crock pot into the pot. I was gonna use my Dutch oven, but I forgot. I'm actually making sourdough bread, um, so I can't. So we're just gonna give this a little mix. And then I have two packets of a chili mix. Honestly, you can probably just use like chili powder, the cumin, all that, I mean, whatever. All that stuff, but I took the easy route. Um, so we're gonna put two packets in here. Probably be okay with one, but since we're doubling, give that a good little mix. And then we're gonna add our beans. And pretty much just cook this on low. Um, sometimes I like to add corn um, or like white beans. I kind of always change it around, but this is pretty simple. This is pretty basic. Um, and we're gonna just kind of keep this going as is. So we're just gonna let the simmer and cook. And you have some chili. Um, I know some people like to add chocolate. You can add a little bit of cocoa powder in here. Um, it helps really elevate the flavors in chili. Um, but we're just gonna keep it as is, because we're gonna freeze it. Keep it really simple and really basic. Um, we're just gonna let this cook on low for a little bit. Now, while the ground beef is cooking, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my ground beef. And I don't even think I'm gonna take this whole onion. I think I'm gonna do like half of it. Um, just because my family's not a huge fan of too much onion inside of their meatballs. So, probably like half of a white onion. Again, if your family likes onion, maybe do the whole onion. Um, for a pound and a half, I'm going to use half of it. I'm going to crack one in here. And then I'm going to do some shredded Parmesan cheese. Probably about like a fourth cup. I'm just going to put that in there. That's actually all I have left. Um, and then just some Italian style breadcrumbs. You can use any kind of breadcrumb. Italian style is just superior to me. Um, I eyeball everything. Probably like a half a cup, fourth a cup. And then we're gonna take some seasonings. We're gonna do some onion powder, some garlic powder, and then Italian seasoning, and then pretty much give it a mix. Um, I don't have fresh parsley. If I had fresh parsley, I would chop that up and put some fresh parsley in here too. I don't have any right now. So, um, Let's actually just add some dry parsley. We're gonna add just a little bit of milk. Um, just like a fourth cup, I guess. Just do like a fourth cup of everything. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna mix this up and then form some balls and roll them up. Let's do that. Super easy. I mean, literally, meatballs are so quick. So I'm gonna take my baking sheet. You guys will be able to see me. Take my baking sheet and I'm just gonna um, spray it with a little, little bit of olive oil. Cooking spray, not olive oil. Um, I like the meatballs to be kind of on the bigger side, um, but it really just depends on like, what I'm making it for. Uh, I'm gonna make these kind of a little bit smaller just because whew, I'm gonna be freezing it but also because I want them in case I want to make like meatball subs or something. Um, and my belly is already getting food on it. Pregnant girl problems. Um, yeah, this is really easy. We're gonna pop 
it's in the oven on 350 for about 20 ish minutes. Um, they cook pretty fast, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. These are done. We're just gonna let them cool off completely, and then I'll throw them into a freezer bag, and then into the freezer it goes. And then this is done. So once this cools off tonight, I will put it in a bag, put it in the freezer. That's good to go. Two meals done, just like that. Alrighty, guys. Next up, we have loaded potato soup. This is one of my favorites. There's only five ingredients. What's better than that? I was gonna pre-cook this. Um, but then last minute I decided just to throw everything inside of the bag and throw it into the crock pot later. Get a bag of potatoes O'Brien or Breen, whatever. Um, I like the ones with onions and peppers. I have some bacon bits. Mine is like the huge one from Costco, so I just have a little bit here. And then we're just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, season to your liking. You can always season it once you put it in the crock pot as well. Um, we're going to use one can of cream of chicken. And then we're going to use one carton, I think it's 32 ounces, of chicken broth. And then lastly, we're just going to put some cream cheese in there. You can always probably put this in day of the crock pot, but again, I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible. I just put it all in there, mixed it up, and put it inside a bag. So, super simple, super quick, super easy. Today we're going to be doing some lasagna. Um, so I got all my ingredients over here. I got just over three pounds of ground beef. We got our lasagna noodles, ricotta, our sauce, olive oil, mozzarella, seasonings, onions, eggs, and we're going to make some lasagna. Um, everyone makes lasagna differently. My kids don't like sausage, so it's just going to be just ground beef. I like my lasagna with a little bit of sausage too, but my kids just don't like sausage. I don't know what it is about sausage, but they just won't eat it. Um, and honestly, I want freezer meals that my babies are going to eat. So <laughs> we're going to make lasagna. I'm not really too sure. I'm not too sure how much lasagna I'm going to make with three and a half. Like it's almost three and a quarter um, pounds of ground beef. Um, I'm thinking I could probably make maybe three. I'm thinking um I was thinking about doing roll-ups to make it easier but honestly I thought roll-ups were a lot messier I did buy these and they're kind of big these are bigger than I wanted I wanted like the little square ones but they didn't have it but then I also bought these so I may actually make like two little ones so I feel like this would actually I don't know I feel like would actually feed my family like me, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I make one of these, maybe two of these. I'm actually gonna make one for dinner tonight too, uh, which again, I've shared this plenty of times. And I'm gonna keep saying this, but whatever you're making for dinner tonight, double it. You'll thank yourself later and then freeze it because who wants to cook? Not I sometimes. Um, I mean, I like cooking, but sometimes I just don't wanna cook. But knowing I have to feed my family every day anyways, I'm cooking today, all I'm doing is taking a little bit of effort to make a little bit more meat and cooking a little bit more pasta and then taking an extra 10 minutes maybe to assemble an extra pan. I mean, it's really not that hard. So, have my water hydrating, we're gonna get started. I'm going to show you a really basic, simple lasagna recipe. Um, there's so many out there. Use what you like. This is just a really simple recipe, simple ingredients, because again, I'm feeding toddlers. If you have toddlers, you know some days are hard. My kids are pretty good, but lately my youngest has been very picky. But um, we're just gonna start with boiling some water so we can cook the lasagna noodles. And then while that's boiling, I'm gonna chop up my onion. We're gonna start sauteing the onion and meat. So let's get started.
so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some noodles in there. Um, I know they have like the oven baked ones, like the ones that you can just like put in raw, but I don't like those. I think they taste funky. I don't like it. So I don't know how many to cook. I just gotta put six more in there. I just hope for the best. Hopefully I don't. And then these cook pretty quick, so we're just gonna pay attention to them and cook them. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting Usually now. pasta only takes like 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and cook the pasta, let the beef brown, and while those are going on, we're gonna go ahead and come over here and start with the mixture. Some people keep it real simple and they just put the ricotta, but I feel like you gotta season your cheese layer. <laughs> so I like to use the ricotta whole milk. Um, oops. What? The ricotta with whole milk. Wow, this thing's not coming off. Um, this is a 30, how big is this? For 30 ounces. So I'm gonna use two of them since we are gonna be making hopefully a lot. <laughs> um, I like a lot of the cheese mixture too. I know some people, they put not too much cheese mixture into their lasagna, but I feel like that's like an important um, layer to the lasagna. Like if anything, it's probably my favorite layer. So we're gonna go in with 60 ounces of ricotta, two eggs. I feel like eggs just help like kind of bind everything together. Um, my favorite part is the seasoning. If you have fresh parsley, way better. Honestly, I could not find parsley at my store, which I thought was really bizarre. Um, they had like none, and they had no green onion either, but I'm just gonna use some parsley flakes for now. I'm gonna give it a pretty good serving of the parsley. And then we're gonna go with some Italian seasoning. I feel like Italian seasoning just makes everything better. It has like the perfect blend. Some onion powder. Some garlic powder. And then red pepper flakes. Um, not too much, because it can be a little spicy. Um, and then, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Oh wow, I ran out. Oh my God, I thought I had more. I just bought this. I think I used it all for like my meatballs. Um, I knew I had more. Um, I'm gonna go with some grated Parmesan cheese. It's like, I, I knew I just bought some. Um, good amount. And then we're just gonna give this a good little mix. I'm gonna go ahead and season it. Where you go? Beef. My what? <laughs> I was saying meat and beef. My beef with a little bit of garlic powder. I feel like these are just the seasonings that you have to always use. Garlic, onion, and Italian seasoning. Um, I put on everything, okay? And it tastes great on everything. So, oops. Italian seasoning. I feel like you have to season all your layers. You're not seasoning your food, then what are you eating? Maybe use a little bit of salt. Um, I don't really cook with too much salt, but I do feel like it needs it in the beef. Um, and then a little bit of pepper. Okay, so we got our beef. I have two different kinds of sauce. I have the traditional marinara, and then I also have five cheese. Um, I love the five cheese marinara. In um, like big ziti lasagna, anything like that. I feel like it should be just, I don't know, just give me all the cheese. Just adding a little bit of water to this. So I'm gonna go with one jar of marinara, one jar of the cheesy. Slowly start incorporating that sauce. Um, I 
I think I'm going to go with one more jar of sauce. So I don't think I'm going to do the full four. I think I'm just going to do just three. Because it seems kind of like a lot. And then our noodles are done. So I'm just going to go ahead and drain my noodles and add a little bit of cold water to them. It just helps so that way they were not like burning your freaking hands when you're trying to assemble. I think I'm okay with, I'm gonna have this little smaller one for dinner tonight because I don't want to have too much leftovers. Um, so this is gonna be plenty for me, my mom, the kids, and my husband. Um, and then we're gonna do this one as our big freeze one and then two small ones. I'm hoping that I can make this work. But we got our cheese. We have our beet sauce I'm about to put down. I'm trying to set everything up so that way it's an easy line. We're gonna have to do it this way. Meat sauce and then our noodles. I'm just gonna keep over here. So I was gonna spray these down. But I don't think I'm going to. So we're just going to add a little bit of meat sauce to the bottom of each of them. So I'm going to start working on like one at a time. We're just going to fill these two up first. And then maybe I'll fill these ones up. But I want to focus on dinner tonight and at least one freezer meal. And then we'll focus on these ones afterwards just in case I don't have enough. So I'm just going to take my noodle and start assembling. So, I mean, I feel like everyone knows how to make lasagna, but if you don't, if you don't, you take a sauce layer and then you apply your noodles. I always like to grab a pair of scissors. I do end up chopping the lasagna if they don't fit. So, um, you put your noodles and then you're gonna do a cheese layer. So I just like to plop a few um, like pieces down of the ricotta mixture and then try to like roughly blend it in. Um, don't worry if it's not fully blended just because once it melts um, when it cooks um, it will spread but try to get it as even as possible. mozzarella layer on top of the ricotta. Again, extra cheesy. I'm going to add some more sauce. Okay, spread it around. And we're just going to continue doing the same thing.
up getting lasagna for dinner, lasagna to freeze, which if I eat freezes after baby, this is like two to three days worth. So that, and then two minis. Again, I think this would be a really easy meal for like me and Cameron, um, me and the kids. I could probably cook both of them if I wanted to. Um, but I think actually one of these would just be plenty for my family too, especially if I serve it with like a side salad or anything like that and some veggies. Like I think one of these small ones, cause really like you're probably gonna eat maybe a slice like this, so one, two, three, and then my kids would eat half. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but this is dinner tonight. This is freezer, freezer, freezer. Took me about an hour to do with this all. Um, and then I actually have um, a little bit of leftover ricotta mixture. So I actually just called my mom and asked Sorry, her. I didn't understand that. I actually just called my mom and asked her if she had any um, like large jumbo like shells. And she says she does, so she's gonna bring me some. Because this, I could probably fill like at least like 12 shells. Um, Maybe a little bit less. No, I think like 12. So she's gonna bring me some to make that and then um, I'm probably gonna freeze those too. And yeah, because I do have some extra sauce in my, what is it called? Pantry. So yeah, um, I'm super excited, super easy. One hour and we got four new delicious meals. Oh, actually will be five soon. So um, yeah, lasagna.